If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hello, everyone. I am with Salem, right? Salem Gunay. Ooh, Salem Gunay. Very, very Turkish slash French. No. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Of um, of Narrative DX. A, it's a healthcare startup based in Philadelphia, originally from Austin, but based in based in Philadelphia now, right? Correct. That's correct. Yes. And before we dive in, let me thank our sponsors real fast. We have A Weber. Go to aweber.com slash Philly Tech. Get your first month for one dollar, and you can help out the show by going there and showing them some love. Get flywheel.com, which is our web host. So thank them out at getflywheel.com. We have Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A.com. They do our video hosting, so we love them. Um, and Zoho Mail. They are they they're the ones that host all our emails. So when you email me at Seth at PhillyTech.org, that's where I get it in Zoho Mail. They're great people as well. So check them out. Also, if you want to support the network and support the shows that we put on. Go to Philly, go to Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com slash Philly Tech org. Philly Tech org, that's what it is. <laughs> and they donate a dollar a month, you know, every little bit helps. It helps us put on these great shows with people like Salim. So, so it's Salim, right? Salim, uh, that's fine. Nem, Nem, I'm screwing it up. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. It's pronounced the way it's spelled S E N E M. Very easy. Salim, all right. So then, yeah. who are you? And what do you do? And, and where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself. To start sure. Uh, thank you very much, uh, first of all, for having me on this show. Uh, I am the founder, co-founder, and CEO of Narrative DX. I am originally from Istanbul, Turkey, but I spend uh, quite a bit of time in Austin, Texas. I tell people that I was born in Istanbul but made in Austin. I went to graduate Austin. school there. And when I wanted to start Narrative DX, I went back to Austin because at the time when the idea of Narrative DX started germinating, I was a uh, faculty member at the State University of New York in Albany at their College of Computing and Information. Well, and Albany. When I wanted it's to Albany. <laughs> where you leave, yes, um, I went back home, so to speak, to Austin, Texas, where I had my um, had had my master's and PhD. And I wanted to start Narrative VX as an Austin startup. So I packed up from upstate New York and moved back to Austin. That's where Narrative VX started. Uh, it started from this concept that I have been working on as an academic uh, before and uh, in the industry for the past 15 years, basically. The roots of organization level phenomena in themes of talk. How um, organizational uh, phenomena needs to be understood by looking at the communication of people who make up that organization. Oh, and very cool. around 2008-2009 as um, uh, the Affordable Care Act happened and patient experience became very important not only as part of the clinical mission of the healthcare industry, but also for its financial reality, because now, after the passing of the act and this new payments reform that reimburses hospitals based on the quality of the care instead of the quantity of the care that they provide, after all these changes happened, patient satisfaction and patient satisfaction scores from government mandated surveys became very important for hospitals. How they perform on these um, surveys and how they improve over time in their performance on these surveys. 
And um, as a social scientist, I have always had trouble with the survey methodology by itself um, as a method to understand um, how organizations work and how they need to change and be improved over time. So I saw this opportunity coming from my background and the shifting landscape in the healthcare industry to bring this concept into healthcare. I, I was uh, talking to different people. I had a couple of consultancy projects uh, that I did to validate it in the market and uh, I was in Austin talking to some business leaders that I had connected with in Austin and they said there's the idea of a product here you should think about building this oh, absolutely yeah product. and that's when I met my co-founder Kyle Robertson who is a computer scientist turned intellectual property attorney turned an entrepreneur with a successful exit and when I met Kyle uh, I found the person who would build this concept into our product, and that's what we have done, and we've been working together for the last year. So an academic and a lawyer walk into a bar. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Yeah, so what, what did you get your PhD in, sociology? Um, close. Organizational sociology, you might call it organizational communication and technology. It's a sociological understanding of how organizations work and oh, very cool. technology in organizations as it's sort of um, fabric that make it make organizations up technology fabric so very cool so what made you what what it what sparked your interest in like how organizations work what sparked your interest in the whole structure of organizations for lack of a better term um, it, it started with an interest in human interaction in context and then uh, I studied human interaction in different contexts and those contexts included healthcare settings, mm -hmm. uh, work settings specifically. First I started small work settings and then um, my graduate's work took me to IBM. An opportunity came up for me to start a project at IBM that was supposed to be a, a summer internship in the towards the end of my doctoral work at the University of Texas at Austin and they really liked what I did uh, during that first summer there uh, as kind of a process consultant and they kept me on for wow. three years as a process consultant wow. and during I, that I've been a big company, Big Blue yeah, Big Blue uh, I did field research uh, which then I used to uh, give continuous input and feedback into the organizational development around a big multi-site project in the hardware development lab at IBM Austin. Wow, okay. So what is Narrative DX? Like if you could sum it up in like a sentence, what is it? Narrative DX provides actionable insights from patient experiences, specifically from unstructured patient feedback, to improve care and maximize reimbursements for hospitals and across um, the care delivery spectrum for healthcare providers. Oh, so you're in the perfect city for this right now. You know, because Philadelphia is, is you know a tech, it's becoming a tech center, but it's mostly a pharma center, so and healthcare center, so it's a great place to be. You know. That's correct, and that's the reason why we moved from Austin to Philadelphia in uh, July of this year to oh, you're new here. Welcome. Yes, attend uh, the Dream It Health Accelerator Program. Oh, very cool. Dream It. There are good people over there. Yes, it, it was the best decision we made for the company. We were first going to be here just for the length of the program for four months and move back to Austin, but because of the, uh, the area here, as you mentioned, the, the hub that it is for healthcare, and the traction we've been building and the connections we've been making in this area, we decided to uh, move the company here. Now, Philadelphia is the home base of Narrative VX. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you. Thank so, you. Um, so, you, so the website is narrativedx.com. Mm -hmm. And um, so is, is it online based? Is it paper based? Like how, like how, does it work? how do people go on and fill out these surveys? Like how does how's this product work? Um, we work with data that already exists either inside these healthcare facilities um, 
And by that I mean um, we work with unstructured patient feedback. So there are these surveys that hospitals are mandated to administer. They're called CAP surveys. Okay. So they get comment sections, open-ended um, questions on these surveys, and then we pull data from those comment sections. Uh. We also pull data from other internal sources such as focus groups, grievance letters, uh, nurse rounding, leadership rounding. These are the kinds of sources that are there internally in hospitals and other healthcare settings. We also pull data from external sources such as social media and doctor review sites, uh, patient experience data that are more publicly available. Okay, so you, and you aggregate it all together into a, a report of uh, sorts? Uh, we actually have dashboards for uh, hospital administrators and or clinicians to log into and see the results and the mm -hmm. changes over time of their results. Oh good, so it's, it's a dashboard where people can, they can see what the progress. That's much. right. That's awesome, that's great. Um, so where can people, so if let's say people, are, like people or companies are interested in finding out more, what's the best way to get in touch with you? It's our, our website and uh, www.narrativedx.com also, uh, they can directly contact me at senem, S-E-N-E-M, at narrativedx.com, and I will be happy to answer any questions that they have. Awesome. How many, how many people do you have in your company right now? Uh, currently, we have uh, three uh, full-time employees, and um, we are in the middle of closing our financing, uh, for our seed round, so when we do that, we will quickly expand. Very good. Well, hopefully you get it, and you know, you're another great company in Philadelphia. That's correct. Well, Senem, thank you for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Of course.